Askazi Uza Mukunda is a health worker in Gasabo district and she says malaria is still a problem in her sector of Rusororo. We see the signs because our tests can confirm without a doubt that a person has malaria. Out of 10 people we test, 7 could come back with positive results. The instruments we use clearly indicate positive or negative. With measures in place to fight malaria, however, such as the use of nets sprayed with pesticides, some good results have been seen. Even when I considered myself healthy, I still got malaria at least three times a month, but now I can go an entire year without getting sick. It was as if I had an agreement with that illness to constantly get sick, but now the health workers help treat us. Rwanda has now taken it a step further, spraying mosquito pesticides in marshlands and other wetlands using drones. During these nine years before we hit 2030, the objective is to reduce malaria cases by 90% compared to the figures of 2016. Therefore, this latest method of fighting the illness will join other strategies already in place. We must now take the fight to the mosquitoes at their home base, so to speak. We must find and kill the enemy in their headquarters before they come up and find you in your homes. Malaria is most prevalent in the eastern province, the south and parts of the west. Calls have therefore been made for people to play their role in the fight. The campaign has helped generate the highest level of the malaria fight. This message of personal ownership is resonating across the continent and around the world, and we are grateful for Rwanda's role in making this happen. This latest method of fighting malaria does not replace other existing ones, rather comes to support them, with up to 3 million Rwandans still infected by the illness every year. The push to eradicate malaria in Africa was begun in 2018 by President Paul Kagame when he was chairing the AU, and so far 13 African countries have committed to fighting and eradicating the disease.